Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you're new, hi, welcome and or welcome. But I'm very excited because in today's video, I'm testing out some K Beauty, so Korean makeup. I've been sent some um, to try from Style Vana, so I'm very excited to give it a go because on my channel, I don't think I have actually tried Korean Beauty before. I have a, a fork eyebrow tint pen, which looks like that. And that's by I think a brand called Riri. I've taken some of the packaging. Um, I'm not really a packaging hoarder. I don't know, it is, yeah, packaging's not my thing. Um, I've got the Color Pattern Palette by Mimi Box. I have actually already used this a couple of times. I really like it, but the other products I have not used. So I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Can we just look at it? Look at it, look at it, look at it. It's a lip tint in a wine bottle. I think they knew me that I like wine, maybe. <laughs> but I'm excited to give that a go because it kind of reminds me of the Benetint by Benefit. Um, this is an eyeliner pen, which I'm excited to try it's by the brand Moni, M-O-N-Y. And foundation I have, I was actually sent by a friend, Pacific Herb Cover Cushion Foundation. I actually don't know that much about this because I haven't got the packaging like the outer packaging obviously um but she sent it to me she used it once um but the color wasn't right for her i do know that this one is about 30 something dollars and available on yes style but i'll try and find some more information on all the products and i'll link everything down below so i've got a little sponge by thin lizzie um because i obviously haven't got the little pad that this comes with because my friend had used it and you probably can purchase them I just haven't yet that's what the packaging looks like apparently you get 12 grams in this which is pretty decent of product and that's what she looks like on the inside I've not used a cushion foundation before so I'm excited to see what it does this one claims that it has SPF 50 um, and I think it's PA plus plus not really sure what PA is something to do with sunscreen but um, yeah, my thing with foundation is obviously I've got rosacea and I want to cover this redness um, So we're gonna see if it does that and I'm having a flare-up of some capillary issues So yeah, we're gonna see if that covers it because it's meant to have coverage But it's also meant to be somewhat serum -y like from what I've read up a little bit on I'm gonna... I should see what the colors like Actually, that's not too bad. Okay, that does have really nice coverage already. Interesting. Seems to spread out quite well. The only other um, Korean effect foundation I've tried is the one by the face shop the ink one and I really like the finish of it so I'm really getting into Korean foundations because the finish of it is lovely that was like one little dip and it's covered that much Yeah, I think it's going to have trouble covering my little capillary thing. It's like a dehydrated issue that I get. It does give good coverage, covers my redness. All right, we'll apply it to the other side and then build up a bit. The color's quite good. I think I'm in light beige. And obviously with my friend using it, I did wipe over a like antibacterial wipe just to clean the sponge bit. I do also like that it comes with a little mirror, which I probably should be using. Okay, I think that's a good light coverage. It does cover and tone down the redness. It looks quite natural. It matches my neck okay. I'll see if it can build up a bit. Okay, 
Yeah, I don't think it's going to cover that capillary thing that I'm having. I might try the other end though and try and get it on more. Oh, that's better. I think it's a good everyday coverage. It'll be good instead of a medium foundation. Like it feels more like a BB cream, but most BB creams aren't light enough for me. So this one I can use like a BB cream. Yeah, I quite like that. All right, so moving on. Okay, so this is the Fork Eyebrow Tin and it's in the color 02 Dark Brown and it's by the brand Uriri, so it's R-I-R-E, I think it is. Where are we? My brows obviously need doing. So this was actually sent by Stylevana. Okay, so I've definitely got the forky bits. There's no real instruction in English, so I'm just gonna presume that it's going to be brushed through the brows. Okay, actually. I like the fine strokes you can get with that. I don't know if the color is going to be exact match. That's actually looking quite nice. I'm not mad at that. Okay, that was actually super easy to use. I do wish it was like slightly darker. I mean, there could have been a deeper shade, but that's what they sent me. I'm not mad at that at all. Yeah. That's the before, after. Okay, so that's what that looks like on both eyebrows. And I'm not mad at that because it doesn't look too sharpy like Very easy to go in, pigmented, not a bad color. I feel like this would probably be a good light brown hair colored person color. That was great English me, but you know what I mean. It actually looks quite decent. I like that one. So now we're going on to the color pattern palette, which looks like this. The packaging actually kind of reminds me a little bit about, is it the Pat McGrath, um, you know, the plasticky ones that they brought out. Kind of reminds me a little bit about that. But this is the shade orange we are working with. Comes with a little blush. Um, but yeah, six shades. Cute little palette. And this is by Mimi Box. I do love that it has four, five mattes and the one shimmer. Like there's more mattes in this, which I love. And it, you could also use the blush as an eyeshadow. I'm just taking Number four. Yep, that's got pigment and blending. It's gonna be obviously a nice everyday kind of a look because that's the shade. It's actually a really nice crease color. I've just matched up the other eye. It blends really well and I like that there's enough depth that you can create like a more dramatic look out of this little palette. I'm gonna take that color through my crease a little bit more just to deepen it up. I've heard good things about Mimi Box actually. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade just to deepen out the outer V a little bit. I actually really quite like the eyeshadow. It's a nice palette. And then I'm going to take this little shimmer shade. I 
That's pretty. A little bit crumbly, the shimmer shade, but it's still nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do the eyeliner on camera. I am generally pretty terrible at eyeliner. I do like how thin it is and the fact that it's a pen style because for my top of the eyes, I do find that easier. Nice. All right, that's that. There. And you can hear the little shaky thing in it. Should use a mirror. It's quite pigmented and it's quite fluid. It's the type that I definitely go for when I do attempt the wing, but I just did a little, a little cat wing. Not bad though, so far. Okay, so that's actually not too bad for me. We're not gonna look at the mistake I did on that eye, but that eye is my good one for me. As I said, I'm terrible at doing eyeliner. So that's actually not a bad eyeliner and it's more of a, a deep chocolatey brown and then like a pure deep black so it's, it's definitely more natural i really like this one so i've just put on some mascara and i'm going back to the blush in this little palette quite pigmented Blends out nicely though. That's actually a really pretty brush, a blush. Quite like that. Wine bottle lip tint. Okay, it's quite red. I think on camera it's coming a bit more orange tone because it's a bit more cherry-like in person. Not a bad colour. Doesn't make my teeth look too yellow. I do actually really like this type of doe foot because it's quite thin and precise. Now I'm going to leave it set for a little while and then see if it's got any kiss proof ability. Okay, so for the lip tint, I'm going to see if it has any kiss proofness about it. Okay, not really. But I don't think it really claims that. Alright, so this is the look. Um, I think the standout for me was actually the foundation. Um, as I said, which my friend did send to me. The eyeshadow palette is actually quite decent. They've got some decent shade ranges in this as well. This one was a bit, like it's fine. But the colour comes off a bit more orange than what I would like. Trying to find the eyeliner. But anyway, the eyeliner, I'm actually really thrilled about that I found a decent eyeliner that I can use. Um, but yeah, I think my favorite things were the foundation and the eyeshadow palette. Overall, I'm very excited to be trying out some K-Beauty things. Um, and uh, as I said, Stylevana has actually sent me some. There's a bug, go away. Um, I do have a code with them. I'll put it on the screen and link it down below. If you want to go and check out their site, they do fashion, beauty, skincare, light lineage, that type of thing. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited and I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Talk to you guys soon and so the eyebrow tint thing that I used today, it was meant to be like a fork pen thing that you'd draw in. I thought it was like an eyebrow pencil -y type thing, like the MAC one. It's actually tinted my eyebrows. I mean, they don't look awful, but I think they're slightly lighter. Like it doesn't look bad at all, but I left it on for a good five hours after the video I filmed. <laughs> Don't you laugh at me. No, it's coffee. <laughs> um, so yeah, it did that.